Let me bring in Maurice Jones-Drew, NFL Network analyst. He also uh, is the Rams radio color analyst and a former running back. You can follow Maurice Jones-Drew on Twitter at MJD. Thursday Night Football continues this week. Jags Bengals exclusively on NFL Network. How big was the Rams win yesterday, Mojo? Oh, man. First of all, Dan, it's so glad to be back. It's been too long. You know, it's it's a beautiful thing, our relationship. It's like we never talk, and then once we talk, it's like we don't even miss a beat. But it was a huge win for the Rams. I thought uh, Tom Brady and the Buccaneers are a very talented team. We saw them beat up on a lot of people, and they didn't have Antonio Brown or JPP yesterday, but the convincing win by the Rams' offense was, was oof. Matthew Stafford looks really good. Deshaun Jackson got into the fold, and then Cooper Cup has been lights out the the last three weeks. And I, I mean, just wait until they get Robert Woods going, and you know, other guys they got Tyler Higby going last yesterday, which was mm-hmm. really nice. And I mean, again, it just it, um, uh, it seems like Sean McVay is just kind of dialing up some really good plays that are that are working really well right now. Barring injury, any concerns? Um, not really. I think they have, you know, this kind of, uh, they're all about their stars in, uh, in LA, right? So you have Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, and then defensively you have Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. They kind of play with them. They, everyone else has a role after those guys. And, uh, they're playing really well right now, very confident, uh, and they're practicing well from what I'm hearing. And, uh, it's 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 pretty good. It's it's a, it's a good uh, mix of guys that are going with good coaching, and uh, it's, it's going to be exciting to see kind of how they they have they've hit the injury bug a little bit. A couple guys have been nicked up, but uh, they're doing a great job of keeping guys healthy and getting guys back. How different is the offense, or at least the play calling, with Matthew Stafford as opposed to Jared Goff? Uh, it's very different, but I think that I think the biggest difference. Uh, a lot of people are going to say the arm talent. I think the biggest difference is Matthew Stafford's experience, right? Um, yeah, he has a strong arm. He can throw the ball over the yard. But there was a couple times yesterday where late in the play, uh, he was checking the guys to a different play, right? And it wasn't a throw down the field. It might have been he saw a blitz and he checked to a quick screen or he saw a blitz and he checked it to a quick pass or he saw they were playing coverage and he checked to a good run. And so his experience of seeing a lot of defenses and knowing, uh, knowing what people are doing and getting them out of a bad play into a right play is kind of what, what's been, like, really getting this team going. And so – uh, I think McVay's kind of given him the, the the keys to the car, let him kind of do what he wants out there uh, in certain situations. Aaron Donald's fascinating because I know we talk a lot about edge rushers. I just think when you have a quarterback like Tom Brady, you know, a lot of these quarterbacks who are pocket quarterbacks, the pressure you put up the middle, now I force them out of the pocket, out of their comfort zone. I mean, it's hard to find guys like Aaron Donald, but man, when you do, there's just nobody like him. Uh, what, do, what do you see? Does he remind you of anybody you played against? <laughs> no, not anyone I've played against. I think the closest person you could think uh, that's similar to his skill set is John Randall. Um, just quick off the ball, very strong, explosive. But the beautiful thing about Aaron Donald, where a lot of other guys don't, I mean, with his size and ability, you would say John Randall, but he lines up all over the line. So you can't slide and protect and like slide your protections to him because sometimes he'll be on the right, sometimes he'll be on the left, sometimes he's in the middle. He's all over the place. Um, and, you know, it's, it's his work ethic and his leadership that I think, you know, they, they, they don't talk enough about. We always talk about his play. But being in part of the, the team and being around the team a ton, you see his leadership come into play a, a ton. And so uh, his attitude, the way he goes about his business, the way he goes about his day, He's always uh, ready to go. And, and so, you know, he finally got his sack against Tom Brady, a guy that he hasn't sacked uh, in his career, which was good for him. And uh, it was a huge play and a huge part of the game. There's sometimes, Dan, and it's crazy, that you won't hear Aaron Donald's name for three, three quarters and 12 minutes of the game. And then he'll have a timely play at the end of the game to end it. And that's kind of the, that's the way he's been. Like, there's sometimes he'll dominate the whole game. There's other times they'll do a great job of getting after him, and then next thing you know, he comes in in a crucial time and gets a strip sack fumble, the game's over. You know how this business works, that everybody wants to have a referendum every Monday, that we know exactly what a team is going to be like or a player is going to be like. After what you saw with the Buccaneers, what would you say to Buccaneers fans after yesterday's performance? Are you, are you really concerned? 
Like they, they, they're they're going to stumble. Every team, I don't think there's going to be a team this year that's going to go undefeated. I mean, even as good as the Rams look, they still have to go through their NFC West play, which is a very tough division. Um, after looking at that roster and watching the guys play, am I concerned? No, not at all. I mean, you, you didn't have Antonio Brown, like I said earlier, JPP's banged up. Um, and you're getting reps. When those guys go down, your young guys are getting better and getting reps to play, which is going to help you in the long run. And so for me, it's like, wow, like these, they're going to be a tough opponent. It was a big game. It's going to have some playoff implications, possibly a home playoff game here at SoFi. But, I mean, the Bucks went on the road last year and won it all. So what's the difference? Are you older than Brady? Uh, body-wise, probably. <laughs> but, you know, he has a couple years on me. I mean, he's from the great outdoors. What do you expect? He's He's phenomenal. Like, can, can I say this? Because I know where we're going to head to this. I have to. The NFL is like the greatest soap opera ever, right? You have this beautiful relationship with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, and it's like it turned toxic the last couple years, and then they had this crazy breakup, and it was just like so. Cra- and then you finally get a chance to go back and like see your ex, but what's your what's your you're with your new boo now? <laughs> like I can't wait to see this double date that's happening on Sunday night. Like. It, it is the best thing ever. I, I, you can't draw up anything like this. Whoever, and, and then the best part is they did it early in the season too. I wish it was a little bit later. You should, I wish it was like November, right, where it's a little cold in, in Foxborough and you know, all that. But man, this is this is going to be some of the greatest football we've had. Every Sunday night game has been awesome. The one last night was crazy. Aaron Rodgers goes back. You know he hasn't been playing well. He's beefing with his his girlfriend, and then the Niners tried to go get him and. It's just like it's so nice. And you saw Matt LaFleur so upset. Like it is so dramatic that it is like the best TV ever. It's 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 literally like a soap opera for like the next, you know, three months, four months. This is gonna be amazing. I can't wait. It's it's just so much drama, so many storylines. It's, it's so amazing. Wait, and you I, know, I, I I just sit and love it. I got Brady is Brady eight years older than you? Uh eight years, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm young, man. I'm still I'm still young and hip. And by the way, when, when, am, when am I going to be able to get in the movie with you and Adam Sandler? Right? When are we going to be able to make this thing work? I, I want to get in. I just want a cameo. Oh, there's so many other running backs. There's so many other running backs, though, that are on the list, it's not, it's Mojo. Not, it's, it's not about running backs. It's about my relationship with you and your relationship with Adam Sandler. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but, you know, I got Derrick Henry wants to be in the movie. No, Derrick Henry, he's still playing. He don't get to do all that stuff. He doesn't have the history that me and you have. Don't don't bring this new hotness up. I've been with you for a long time. Yeah, you know, who else, Paulie? Matt Forte? Remember Fred Taylor called? Oh, Fred Taylor don't, once don't in a movie. Give me, don't give me, but but it's, they're not as consistent as I've been with you. Uh, right? Yeah. We've been consistent together for years. Don't do this. Who, don't throw uh, our relationship away for, like, some short – some short, like, hot date or whatever, you know, you guys have going on. This has been consistent. I've been loyal. Brian Westbrook. Oh, man, there's there you so, go, throwing so, out all these names. You're trying to make me jealous. So, so many. That. Yes, McLovin. Remember Sandler had that spot for a slightly undersized running back, and it went to Darren Sproles. Oh, that's right. Sproles got the role. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Mojo. Well, listen, that's the problem. You, you got, you're not thinking about me right now. I don't like that. Like, I'm trying to expand my career as well. <laughs> I'm trying to, I, I'm always trying to get better. Right, and then the next step is being with you in a movie. I just want to stand. There. I mean, you, you're in a movie with Shaq. What, what? How hard is it not to get me in there? Wait, Come are on, you... what is Shaq really doing that I haven't done? Wow, wow, you're calling out Shaq. I mean, I'm not calling out Shaq. I'm just saying, you know, I would like to be in a movie as well. All right, I'll see what I can do. All right, thank you. I'll put it again. How about this? Rams go to the Super Bowl. You're in. Well, you know what? I, I would take that, but I literally have no control over what they do. But I like the Rams so much that I'm with that. Let's do it. All right. Great to talk to you as always, Mojo. Always good to talk to you as well. Thank you, man. That's uh, Maurice Jones-Drew, NFL Network Analyst, Rams Color Analyst on radio, and uh, former NFL running back.